first time. Many of these young women are performing dances they created themselves. The class is called New Voices. It's designed for 14 to 16 year old females who are advanced level PNB students. Today, no Audrey, you, and no who else? She never misses. That means they've already spent many years dancing, but this is a new experience to create dance. It can be both empowering and challenging. It's definitely very overwhelming. I mean, you can you really have the opportunity to do anything. When you're the choreographer, you get to write that story or you get to create that concept yourself. That could be overwhelming because you can go in so many different directions. And we do it too in dance, but we can we can play with it a bit more and modify it a bit more and work it to our advantage for sure. The New Voices class introduces students to the key features of dance, time, space, and energy. It gives them the tools they need to construct dances both in ballet and modern. I think it was a really special way of, you know, figuring out what type of person you are in the dance world and like figuring out how you move and kind of what you're more attracted to in a type of movement. Transitions really are the glue that holds everything together. New Voices is being taught by female choreographer Eva Stone, who herself is a trailblazer in this field. Because choreography is my first love, um, I wanted to find a way to share uh, my passion. So I wanted to pass these ideas and skills on to young dancers especially women in dance. There's a big conversation around where are all the female choreographers, especially in classical ballet. The choreography program is the school's first year-round program for young women and is rare in the ballet world. This was a great place to start building uh, that context that con and building, starting that conversation and educating these young women in a way that wasn't happening anywhere else, uh, to my knowledge, in the United States. Artistic director Peter Bull strongly supports the program. He says choreography is male-dominated, and young women need strong role models like Eva to empower them. Because I think what we had seen in our field over many decades was just, I guess, Young males were stepping forward because they'd seen role models of other older males that had been choreographers. Many directors were males and they were sort of filling that void of who creates the new ballets. And it just wasn't a place where women felt like they could step in comfortably. Peter says they wanted to offer the program specifically to young women because oftentimes a person's career path is decided early on. And for many years, the female role model in dance was primarily only ballerinas. And I always look at things, well, wait, if we go back a step, if we go back a step, and before you know it, you're down to age 13, 14, 15, where people, they, they identify what their role could be in life because of who they see around them and who feels, fills those positions. I loved what you presented today. It was fantastic, really good. And while it could so, take many um, years to see the long-term benefits and outcomes the of the class, it's clear that hard work and perseverance pay off. After 30 years as a choreographer, Eva reached a career milestone. This is her first major PNB production to hit the big stage. It's called Foil. The show's debut was spectacular, but even more remarkable was who attended. It was an amazing opportunity. And after opening night, I came out into the lobby and all of my new Voices students were standing there and they were all tearing up and I was tearing up and I said, see, I did, I did this for you. This is to show you what is possible. It was amazing. I, it was like really inspiring and it, you kind of like have a new respect for choreographers and like the way, like the movements that she chose to do. And like One, two, three, four. These young women say New Voices is opening doors and possibilities that may someday lead to their own productions. I think it's really important and I really hope that it continues so more younger dancers who are coming up through PMB um, can experience it. Being able to find your voice when you're younger um, like as a student here at PMB, that's really important um, so that you can have an outlet that's a different type of dance, a different view on the dance world. Wouldn't it be incredible if there was a young female who had her first touch of choreography in this class? 10, 
15 years down the road, she were to make a work on Pacific Northwest Ballet. We'd just feel like, you know, we had a hand in helping someone to realize this talent, not only in embryo in a studio, but for 3,000 people. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.